Hey guys, Greg from Faction Fab here to bring you another new product video. Our line of steering wheels have been insanely popular for the 08 to 14 WRX and STI, and it seems there's one question that we are asked nearly every week. Where are the steering wheels for the 2015 and up WRX and STI? Well, here's your answer. Officially on the market, we have five new steering wheel options for all trim levels, including CVT models. With the same material options available on the 08 to 14 wheels, the same high quality and attention to detail, these are going to be a 100% bolt-on OEM replacement modification. All steering wheel controls, Bluetooth, and cruise control buttons will transfer over for perfect fitment. With different combinations of genuine perforated and textured leather, soft suede, and real hand-laid carbon fiber, there is a wheel to suit every driver. All wheels come with a red centering stripe and red stitching to match the OEM seats and trim. We kept the D-shaped design of the stock wheel, gave it thicker and firmer padding, and improved the contouring on the sides for grip. These look fantastic on the table, but no surprise, they'll look even better in your car. And I'm gonna show you how to install it to make it a breeze. Let's get started. Here's the tools you'll need for install. A ratchet, breaker bar, and torque wrench with extensions, 10 and 17 millimeter sockets, a flathead, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Disconnecting the battery is very important for this modification before you remove the airbag. So the airbag has three different clips that hold it in place. There are two on each side and one on the bottom. You're gonna get access to them on the back of the steering wheel cover with a long skinny tool like a flathead screwdriver. The side ones, you're gonna to want to go up at an angle and then you push and you can see it's disconnected and it's starting to come out there. And then the bottom one, you should be able to just go straight up to get the last clip. And keep in mind, you do have wires connected back here, so don't pull too hard. And there are three connectors on the back we need to remove. Uh, the two main airbag connectors and then a small spade connector. The spade connector is going to have a little lock right in the middle. So you can push that down and then it pulls off. And then your airbag connectors, you want to take your flathead screwdriver and gently pry underneath the yellow locking tab. Make sure that comes up completely. And then you can just continue to pry the rest of the connector off. It should come off very easy. If it's not, you may need to pull more on your uh, locking tab, just make sure it releases completely. And then we can take the airbag and set it aside. So we have one main connector, let's disconnect that, and then we have our 17 millimeter nut. You may need an extension or an angled ratchet to be able to get this without damaging your wheel. And I'm going to start to undo the, the nut, but not take it off all the way. At this point, it's very important to not turn the steering wheel to leave it centered. That way you can get it on back on the center when you're ready to assemble the wheel again. So I'm going to take the wheel and rock it side to side and gradually pull it off of the hub. And that nut there is gonna protect us so we don't hit ourselves in the face. So now that it's off, we can undo the nut. Then carefully re remove the wheel, threading the airbag connectors through to not damage the clock spring. And then this is also very important to not spin the clock spring while it is disconnected from the wheel. Right, so we're gonna undo this white connector. Go to the other side and take it out with Remove the screw holding the rear cover. And then remove the wiring harness from the stays in the rear cover. Now we can flip it over and remove the back cover by prying it out from the spokes. 
and then we'll remove the three screws holding the steering wheel controls and the lower trim. And those can be removed as well. On the back side, we will remove the three clips. And everything from this point on is adding the parts back onto the Faction Fab steering wheel in reverse order. steering wheel controls have two pegs that go in the holes of the steering wheel. Line those up underneath and then push the control in the wheel. forget the screw for the back cover. Then we go back to the car. All right, since we were careful and we didn't move the spindle or the clock spring at all, we should be good to put the wheel straight on. Thread the airbag connectors through the wheel I have to spin it a little bit in the background. And then, like I said, this is gonna go straight on, straight facing up, and we push on. Let's go ahead and get our nut on here before we knock it loose again. And then we tighten this to 29 foot-pounds. Now we go ahead and connect all of our connectors that we just connected, starting with the white one there, then our airbag connectors. Big part first, then push down on the yellow locking pin. And then our spade connector. And then we simply line up the airbag and push, and it's on. We are good to go. Go ahead and connect your battery, and then you're all set.
If you have any questions, make sure to hit us up and then like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more up-to-date content from Faction Fab. And we will see you next time.